Hey there, Toy Amigos! Welcome back to Talking Toys, your go-to destination for figure reviews and toy hunts. I'm Joel, and in today's review, we are taking a closer look at Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Spider-Man from Captain America Civil War. Remember the excitement when Spidey made his unforgettable debut in the MCU? But we aren't here to talk about the movie. Let's talk toys. Specifically, action figures. I got my hands on the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Infinity Saga figure, and we're swinging in to answer all the burning questions. Like, why do we love this figure so much? Is the articulation enough to satisfy even the most dynamic poses? And most importantly, is this figure worth the $25 investment to add it to our collection? So whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started on your action figure journey, stick around as we break down everything you need to know about this Infinity Saga Spider-Man. Is this the one addition to your collection that's sure to make you feel like you're swinging through the streets of New York? Let's grab our web shooters and swing into the amazing world of Marvel Legends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date for all of our figure reviews. We're kicking off our deep dive into the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Spider-Man figure by taking a closer look at its box design. Right off the bat, let's talk about the front of the box. You can see the Captain America Civil War logo, a nod to the movie where Spider-Man made his memorable debut in the MCU. To the right, we have the Marvel Legends logo. And of course, we can't miss the Marvel Studios, the Infinity Saga logo, reminding us of the epic journey through the MCU. And here, we have the Avengers logo, a subtle nod of Spider-Man's allegiance to Team Iron Man. Also, at the bottom, we have the Spider-Man name prominently displayed, letting everyone know who the star of this review is. We have a clear plastic window that gives us a peek at the figure itself, along with two additional hands and a swappable head featuring a stunning rendition of Tom Holland as Peter Parker. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the artwork on the side of the box. With a striking color design of pink to blue to yellow, we see the MCU cast of characters from the Infinity Saga. It's like a mini gallery of our favorite heroes setting the stage for an epic display piece. And finally on the back, we have the nostalgic throwback to Captain America Civil War with the movie poster, Iron Man and Captain America face to face with a brief description about Tony recruiting Peter Parker to help bring in Captain America. It's a reminder of the pivotal role Spider-Man played in the events of the MCU. So there you have it, folks. The Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Spider-Man box is not just a container. It's a work of art that sets the stage for the incredible figure inside. Standing at a sleek and sexy six inches, this figure packs a serious punch. Dare I say, spider punch? Spider punch! Spider kick! Spider kiss! Spider punch! <laughs> there are approximately 30 points of articulation on this Spider-Man figure, including, but not limited to, his head, which is on a ball joint, allowing for a full 360 spin, and a neck joint to allow Spider-Man to look up and down. The chest has a bend, allowing Spider-Man to lean both forward and back. We also have a waist turn, allowing for a full 360 spin. Spider-Man's shoulders are on a butterfly joint, allowing the shoulders to move forward and back, but also allow the shoulders to come up from the sides in a T-pose and spin around in a full 360. We have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows with pins visible. We have wrist turns for a full 360 and all four hands have a horizontal bend. The hips allow for the legs to do a horizontal split, but you can move the legs at the hips forward and slightly to the back. There is an upper thigh turn on both legs. We also have double jointed knees and the pins are still showing. Finishing up the articulation, we also have his ankles, which allow Spider-Man's feet to move up and down, as well as move left and right. But we don't have a toe bend. Every Spider-Man figure should have a toe bend. You can create more poses than an Instagram model, but you still don't have a toe bend. You talking about Willis? Now, onto the design. This Spider-Man figure is as accurate as it gets. The movie suit design is clearly inspired by the comic book art of the late, great 
Ditko. Bold red, complemented by darker blue with a textured molding on the legs just for that extra oomph. The eyes are white with black outlines, reminiscent of Ditko's art back in the 60s, keeping the eyes more sleek. Black paint outlines along the chest, head, arms, and legs, as well as those web shooters on his wrists and the cartridges which are molded right onto the waist. We have a masked Spider-Man head for when he's swinging through the city and an unmasked Peter Parker, again with a stunning resemblance to the one and only Tom Holland. And there you have it, folks, from articulation to design. This Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Spider-Man figure truly delivers. But at a $25 price tag, I believe that we should have gotten a few more accessories, like some webs or extra hands in different poses. My fellow webheads, we've reached the end of our journey through the Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Spider-Man figure. From its six inch scale to 30 points of articulation, even without a toe bend, this figure is perfect for recreating all your favorite Spider-Man moments from the MCU. But these are just my thoughts. I wanna hear from you. Drop us a comment below with your favorite Spider-Man moments from all of the MCU. Did you love his eventual father-son relationship with Tony Stark? Or perhaps his epic showdown with the Guardians of the Galaxy against Thanos? I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. And remember, with great articulation comes great responsibility. To enthusiastically pose the hell out of this figure. So get creative and let your imagination run wild. Thank you for joining me on this action-packed adventure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest action figure reviews or toy hunt content. Until next time, stay nerdy and keep collecting. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing and those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys, signing off.